series tutorial. I am Tanmay Mojumdar from Kuwait, staying with you. Today, we will learn about how to digitize a map on ArcGIS. Today, we will digitize uh, this cadastral map. Uh, let's know about uh, the basics of digitizing. What is digitizing? Digitizing is the process where features on a map or image are converted into digital format by using GIS. It is the process of converting raster to vector data. Digitizing converts the features on the map into three basic data types. One is point, another is line, and other is polygons. Now, uh, digitizing uh, process. Uh, first, we have to collect the hard copy of the map which we, we want to digitize. Then, we have to scan the map and uh, after that, you ensure the quality of your paper map. Um, you have to save your paper map at the time of scanning in JPEG or TIFF file format. Then next digitizing process is uh, georeferencing. Uh, georeferencing process can be categorized in many points such as first you have to establish control points on the paper map then register the paper map and set the correct projection after that enable digitizing mode and begin digitizing now we start the digitization of this map for this uh, click catalog then i create new some shape file point line and polygon so at first i create a new folder like new shape then in new shape i create some new shape file new shape file the point shape then coordinate system is BGM then press OK then I create another shape file line shape polyline here projection system is BGM then press OK then I create another shape file poly shape then it is polygon projection system is BTM press ok then I want I want to start digitizing uh, the toolbar that you need for digitizing is editor toolbar for getting editor toolbar right click on menu bar then check editor you have to have on another toolbar that is snapping so for getting snapping toolbar press S from keyboard then check snapping uh, but what is snapping snapping allows feature to connect each other based on user defines tolerance here the snap tolerance if we draw a line be into between snap tolerance then automatically uh, snap tolerance connect uh, these two lines so uh, at the time of digitizing uh, we often suggest to on the snapping toolbar for start the editing uh, go to editor menu and click start editing then 
go to create feature and at first we edit the point shape so click point and here uh, the control point that we take on the map uh, i mark it by taking the point then you have to save it to stop editing do you want to save the edit yes then the point shape is saved now i want we want to show how to digitize the whole map by taking line shape here are many tools uh, you can drag it line rectangle circle ellipse ellipse and freehand and here effective tool is line tool before editing if we zoom the image we see that the line is not just like a line the quality of the line distorted for uh, seeing the line just like a line go to image properties by double clicking on the image then go to display and um, resample during display using uh, we can change it to bilinear interpolation for continuous data it uh, after clicking this the line is just uh, looking like a line then you start editing by clicking line feature you can edit the whole map by this line feature after clicking on the last point right click on it then finish sketch or you can double click uh, to uh, double click on mouse to finish the drawing you can change the properties of line like i can change the width to color red and it is selected so the color is not shown so clear selected feature then you see the color of the line then i want to show how to digitize a map by polygon shape so click poly shape and take polygon uh, i start the polygon to here from here so polygon works just start from a starting point then and double click on it and uh, you get a complete polygon the polygon fill with color so we don't see the inner things uh, of the polygon for seeing inner things uh, click the poly shape symbology and you can make it hollow to see the inner things of the polygon or you can do it uh, another process click poly shape go to display and make it transparent say i click 40 percent then you see the inner things of the polygon uh, and if you draw the another polygon by clicking here
then here is the problem to adjacent polygon if you click and finish the sketch then some problem happen like gap or overlapping of two line so it is not the process of uh, drawing polygon now i show some basics of digitizing error and uh, and the process how to recover the errors at the time of digitizing common errors in digitizing on is slivers uh, slivers is boundaries of adjacent polygon overlap so we uh, have to remove it at the time of digitizing then another uh, digitizing error is gap boundaries of polygons that supposedly share a common border and don't touch due to double digitizing and another is attribute error attribute error is attribute data entered incorrectly now we know how to draw adjoining polygon uh, for uh, removing the errors uh, at the time of digitizing if you are creating polygons of land uses soil countries or property ownership for example you often need to create polygons next to one another the polygons should share a border but you want to avoid digitizing the border twist or having overlap or space between polygons you can use the autocomplete polygon construction tool when creating new polygons to help ensure that the data forms a continuous fabric here the description of the autocomplete uh, polygon construction tool uh, but we see in real uh, for drawing adjacent polygon we uh, take autocomplete polygon autocomplete polygon uh, you can snap from the next point or between the already drawn polygon and draw it here finish it or between finish it then uh, autocomplete polygon automatically uh, draw the inner boundary uh, so it is the effective tool uh, for removing the errors at the time of digitizing in this way you can digitize the whole map but i will show you some problem that you will you will or may face at the time of digitizing like i intentionally or not intentionally draw a polygon like which have Here I draw uh, two polygon at a time, but here we see that the another boundary line. This is two plot. Uh, this other, this is two plot, not one plot. So you can use uh, the effective tool, the cut polygon tool. Cut polygon allow to cut the polygon. So get, take cut polygon tool, then click here and click here then double click on it then all plots are divided into two you can also use trace tool to drawing adjacent polygon in terms of autocomplete polygon so go to polygon tool click here then you choose trace tool click trace and one click at the start point then another click at another point then last point then double click on it you get another polygon 
Now I will show how to handle the problem if you draw incomplete polygon. Uh, so draw a polygon which is incomplete. Uh, I draw here. It is a incomplete polygon. We uh, cannot uh, we do not take this area many uh, you can uh, draw the full polygon in many ways like the first way is create another polygon uh, adjacent to that polygon by taking autocomplete polygon join it and draw it here are two polygon uh, but you have to merge it so click it click select two polygon and edit go to editor menu and click merge then press ok then uh, you uh, get the full polygon not incomplete polygon you can do this also in another way the way is click reshape tool and click here and you can snap it or between the polygon just click it then you get the uh, full polygon now I will show uh, how to uh, recover how to handle the problem if you draw the draw an extended polygon so just like this i draw a extended polygon and if you want to uh, make the polygon perfectly go to reshape tool and click outside from the polygon and click here then you get the uh, the full polygon these are the common process uh, for digitizing by creating point line or polygon uh, polygon shape uh, in this way you can digitize the whole map uh, and um, uh, for editing the map there is a advanced editor tool and it is the advanced editing and this one advanced editing here you get uh, many tool for uh, advanced editing you can get help uh, on rxgis uh, like press a phone for more help about this tool i press a phone then RGIS help show you help option about this tool same map so try yourself by handling many tools and you can able to digitize the whole map so thanks for watching